Hi, I'm Richard Allen Weber. I'm going to be your somewhat narrative reader of some of my short stories. I left off previously on a work called No Subject. Well, I finally finished part four up, and I'd like to read it to you right now, currently. This is part four. Uh, the main characters were the Cyphersons, as you recall. Anyway, here goes. Part four. No subject. By Richard Allen Weber, May the 3rd, 2013, 6.20 p.m. Part four. The Cyphersons knew what had to be done. In accordance with the teachings and philosophies of Anton Xander LaVey, what follows next is the compassion ritual, performed as such to release the curse of the Seneca tribe, to make right what was wrong, to free the children of Mr. Polk's nightmare and make the future strong. I will not overemphasize ritual practice here, my folks. Simply said, it was an act of compassion and empathy. The body of the shaman, his bones and final remains, all that was left was where the altar was placed. All attention was placed upon the altar. A nude woman was representing the earth, mother, and sympathetic energies. Was where the energies of lust and desire. Some of mankind's strongest emotions are summoned forth to bring forth a positive working. The Cyphersons work their magic, and on the final stroke of twelve midnight on May Eve, St. Valpurgis knocked, the accursed venom from whom Mr. Polk was the messenger was finally and successfully vanquished from the hills of Pocahontas County, West Virginia. The children almost immediately regained their youth, and all was as it was before, only better somehow. The children were happy, parents were content, and the elderly were pleased and proud, and the Cyphersons, once despised and thought of as strange and different, were now the heroes of the day. It's funny how one day you're evil and misunderstood, and then the next day they can't get enough of you.